Hi, here to talk with you now about the um, Ozobots. And um, they are just these little small robots that do cool things. Um, they're, the way they're described in their uh, product manual and product videos is say that they're robots designed to uh, teach in the classroom about play, about uh, creating and coding and connecting. And so, fun things, I guess. Um, and what I like about them is they, 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 they move around and you can actually tell them where you want them to go. And you can create fun places for them to go or you can just even do simple things where they just move around on the table. And it's cool to be able to see that you can create something to do that. Um, also, I know that you can use like block code to uh, create you know, routines and things for them to do as well. So it's pretty cool. But how do they move? Um, at the basic part, when you're looking at not using the, you know, the block code, is by um, actually using color. Um, probably can't see here, but um, on the bottom, there's these sensors on it that allows it to be able to read colors. And according to what a color is, it tells them what to do. And, um, and these sensors actually allow them to see the colors and to know the difference between the colors. But um, here's, here's, here's something. What are they like? What, what do they like? What don't they like? And what do they do? This is the practical piece for me. Um, so let's, let's look at it. I have some, and I'll flash up there, some, some uh, different sheets, some different tracks for them to run on so you can see what they do. And um, as, you, as you look at, look at them go, you can see what they like and don't like here. In general, to get it started, um, there's a little button on the side and you just press and hold that in and then it's turned on. These uh, different patterns tell you about what the other bot can do by looking at what it likes and what it doesn't like. Here it is on straight lines. You can see he likes straight lines. And then he also likes circles. One squares, because he likes squares too, if the angles aren't too bad. If the angles are uh, real tight, then he won't like it. He likes zigzags and curves too. And this angle isn't, these angles aren't too bad, but they're getting kind of close for him. But he's navigating them, no problem. Cool beans. Now this isn't too bad for him. He doesn't mind these at all. The octagon, I believe. Looking at this. Whoop, he doesn't like that. Um, he doesn't like real thin lines. He can't navigate those. He can't see them very well. That's why he doesn't like them. we see it again. And that line is thick and it gets thinner. And then whoop, whoa. Stopped in the middle of it, went further. But yeah, but he doesn't like thin lines to begin with, so that's what he doesn't like there. This is kind of a square zigzag, and then now the angle is getting kind of tight for him. And let's see if he can deal with it. Oh, it's going pretty good. Whoop. Yes, and now he's going backwards on himself because he doesn't like them sharp um, angles. And so that's why he doesn't, uh, why he's going backwards. He's saying, I don't like this. That other thing is too hot, too much for me. I've got to get up out of there. So cool. So he's, he's finished with that one. All right, let's get you, let's do this here. See what he does with colors. Now the black, he's just keeping his white. Now he turns, now the, uh, the line is green and he turns green. Pretty cool. And then he's going to orange and then he's going to turn orange or yellowish orange. And then he's on orange again. He's going to black now. And it's white. So now it's on red. So he's going red. And uh, cool. Now one thing about them is when they become, get to an intersection like here now, 
you don't know what they're going to do. They don't always do the same thing. Um, that one, he chose to go left. But who knows, the next time if he goes there, he may go right. Now, one thing he doesn't like on this is he does not like yellow. I don't know why, but he doesn't like it. He won't even go on it. Or, yeah. Yeah, he passes right over it. So anyway, they don't like yellow. Or maybe I got it set up wrong or something I didn't do right. But he, he's not liking yellow today. That's all I know. Let's see. So there are the, there are, that's how they interact with colors. What's interesting though, too, though, because when you look at the color codes, that's, uh, I'll put it up again, too. When they get to the color codes, uh, there is no yellow as close as it gets to what looks like yellow could be green, but not yellow, doesn't like yellow. So that's why it's not going on there. So I learned something. Now, other things that you can do is when it goes on these different tracks here that I'll show you a little bit later is uh, you can control speed. And that's what this one's about, speed. It's pretty cool. This one is <laughs> snail dose. That's cool. So when it hits that code, that red, green, blue, hits that snail pace. Now look at the look at the um, the fast, the, the cheetah fast code. It's cool. That code was blue, black, and blue. Let's look at turtle slow, which is just red, black, red. So yeah, so he kind of hits it, slows down. All right now, it should be fast again. This is the turbo, and this is blue, green, blue. Whoop, hit that turbo. Let's look at cruise, which is green, black, and green. It's cool, it's gone. And the nitro bo boost, which is blue, which is, I'm sorry, and it reads from right to left. Remember that? Red, green, blue which is the same as snail dough, so I don't know how it, know well, I guess maybe from here, it's gonna hit that blue first. Maybe that's what tells it. You start it from this side. Ooh, took it off. Now, I'm sure if we did it the other way, it's gonna hit that snail pace, so let's look at it that way. Huh, guess he didn't have enough time to really Decide that he just stopped. But anyway, those are the those are the speeds. It comes with, of course, the Ozobot box, and in the box, it's hard to do this on camera here. But in the box, it actually has a little a little playground for it. Might be more of like a logo or anything else, but it has a little playground, a little box with everything all comes in it. Oops, it's Ozobot here. Then it also comes with a Ozobot quick guide. Oops, there you go. Quick start guide. An incredibly annoying tray in which they actually sit in to, um, you know, to be able to be stored. It's probably easier for me to get it out than to actually put it back in. So if you get it, you might notice it rattled around in the box. <laughs> then it comes with four Ozobot skins. This one kind of reminds me of like a little Batman type of, Batman type of a uh, thing here. Batman style, cool looking. And then you have kind of like a yellowish one. And then you have a blue one, cool looking. And then you have actually a white one. More like those uh, guys in Star Wars, reminds me of them, Stormtroopers. And then you have, in this kit, you have a 
white one, off white one, and then you have a, a black one. And then you have a fold out playground, as we call it. Playground, let's hold it up so you can see it. Playground, it's like it will start on this side and then I guess it answers a question. Um, will I get a passing grade from school? You put it on here, it goes here, and it goes to the yes one here, and it says yes. It believes you'll get a passing grade in school. Ah. And then, um, let's see what else. Oh, then you have two chargers for charging them up. This one may need a charge. Why? It was probably acting crazy here. But anyway, it just goes in the very back here. You'll see the port for it. It's just a regular um, USB port. Put in a computer, um, or you can maybe put it in the, uh, you know, if you have a little, little power, little power brick, put it in there, let it charge. So anyway, so that's what you get when you get the Ozobot kit. It's pretty cool, a lot of, a lot of fun. If you, um, oh, another thing too, you get a bunch, and we have, I didn't, I didn't bring them all out, but there's a bunch of uh, lessons and other things like that that you can use to actually go through and either teach class, or goodness, even teach yourself. Um, and also what, what we'll include in here, we'll include links, because we found about five or six uh, YouTube videos that explains in depth what they are, they walk you through how to use it, how to make sure that they're, um, uh, that they're set up correctly, and different things that they can do. And then, of course, if you do some more deep dives, you can actually find some projects that people have actually done with them. And they're, they're pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, we'll be talking to you later. Bye.